Doma Sports Talk Worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now this is going to be a two-part video. I'm going to say two, two things about this. I'm going to make this quick. Got to get off my chest, right? We got four great champions, right? Four great champions. Two awesome fights that we've been wanting to see, right? And these great champions are fighting for no damn belts and probably on undercards. And that's how boxing will get you, right? The guys that ain't better than these guys fighting for a whole lot of money and on pay-per-view some damn way. What am I talking about? We're talking about the fight that everybody's talking about right now. That's got to be David Benavidez versus David Morrell. Both 168-pound champions. One is a former champion and still lineal. The other one is a WBA regular champion. And they've been that for two and a half, three years. Both of them were trying to fight Canelo Alvarez, who got all the belts at the 168-pound division or had them, and basically just refused. Just said, I ain't following no rules. I ain't fight neither one of these guys. The WBA has been going on about the last over a year now, talking about we want to consolidate all our belts. It was dumb for us to come up with a regular champion that's not really the champion and, uh, and, and confusing everybody. The real champions, you know, got the real champions, then you had a new regular. So they said, we're going to consolidate the belts. They just didn't want to do it at 168 pounds division because that's what Canelo Alvarez is, and we ain't messing with him. WBC, where the mandatory is also your boy Benavidez, we just ain't forcing Canelo to fight him, period. Canelo can ask how much. They just say, I ain't going to fight him. Didn't ask for 200 million to fight him. You know, just making excuses not to fight him, and we just roll with the punches, right? So these two guys, David Morrell and David Benavidez, I've been saying for a long time, they shouldn't fight until they at least one of them get a crack at Canelo, get those belts, and then they can fight for something significant. Of course, it didn't happen that way. Canelo can keep his belts, not better than either one of these guys, and these guys are going to fight at the 175-pound division, which I didn't fail to mention that they didn't fight so long, couldn't get a fight with Canelo so long, that they just had to be forced to go up to the next division without ever getting a chance of fighting for the championship belt. And I done told you, if you think that's fair, something's wrong with you. You know, get in your car if you got one and go drive to the crazy house because you need help. These guys should at least got a championship fight, right? And if Canelo should have gave up the belts and let them fight someone else or fight one of these guys. Can't avoid both of them. And the, the common denominator with these guys, they're both awesome. Now, for those who think, well, he only avoided David Benavidez. He only avoided David Morrell. I just said, you know, four people. Yeah, but that's really more. It just hit me, but I'm just going to leave it at four. Now, rumor has it that the other two fighters that he was <clears throat> didn't want to fight <clears throat> at 160 pounds, before he went up to 168. These two guys are the reason Canelo went to 168 pounds because it was easier at the time. Right? The WBC said he don't have to fight David Benavidez, and Morrell wasn't there yet, so he had the easier guys. He had the, the uh, Callum Smith had the WBA title at the time. Uh, Billy Joe Saunders, who was just coming off of doping, had the other title. And then, then Caleb Plant had the IBF. So he was an easier sailing. In the 160 pound division, the middleweight division, his mandatory was Jamal Charlo. Alias, the reason why we had the franchise title, a.k.a. the Charlo belt. They made the Charlo belt, a.k.a. franchise title, because Charlo was the mandatory for Canelo Alvarez, and Canelo Alvarez was doing what he's done at 168 pounds. I'm refusing to fight him, so figure out something. And they did, the franchise title, right? On the other side was WBO champion. Canelo had three belts. He only needed one more. To become undisputed at 168 pound, at 160 pound division, the glamour division, the middleweight division, glamour division. It's only about four glamour divisions. Middleweight is definitely one of them. All he had to do is fight the WBO champion, which was Demetrius Andre. Refuse to do it. I ain't doing that. That's a horrible fighter. He ain't fought nobody better than Demetrius Andre. Still up until today, really. Quiet as kept. But if it only you only got about two that you can argue with, and Bavol is one of them, and Floyd Mayweather is the other. After that, it gets very thin. If you're going to be fighting somebody better than Demetrius Andre, who would have gave him $40 million at the time, 
plus the undisputed championship. He didn't have to fight him. Now, fast forwarding, they never got a, fight, a chance to fight. Demetrius Andrade and Jamal Charlo are rumored to be fighting soon too. What I'm hearing is on an undercard. So you got four champions, all of which are better than Canelo, in my opinion. Now, Canelo probably has an opportunity, a chance to beat maybe one of them with Jamal Charlo. But I think uh, um, Benavidez beats him, outpoints him, going to get hurt to the body. I think um, Demetrius Andre beats him, outpoints him, but going to get hurt to the body. I think David Monroe whitewashes him, period, nothing. I think all three of those beat him for sure. Jamal Charlo would have been a, a better fight. Jamal probably would have came on top. That would have been a good one. I think that would have been the closest one. But all four of those fighters, if, even if you're a Canelo fan, you can all say all four of those fighters can arguably beat Canelo. And they're better, all four of them, than anything Canelo has fought any time recently. See what I'm saying? Any time recently. So with that being said, we got four champions, awesome guys who are going to fight for not that much money. Probably on somebody's undercard. That's boxing for you. Dome Sports Talk. Worldwide. Could talk more about this one. And we up out of here, y'all.